different thing going on. Instead of doing the live uh, class session, I thought I would just record uh, myself just talking to you a little bit about what we're expecting, give you a short block, so to speak, of information uh, for this week. So let's just get right into it and, uh, and we'll talk. So first, number one, we uh, had last week, we had one Ed Puzzle assignment I asked for you. Remember, the Ed Puzzle assignments are important because they are how I keep track of attendance each week. This week we've got only one as well. I'm going to have another one. I haven't posted it yet, but it will go up very soon. Uh, number two, we've got our finals. Remember, uh, we're coming close to the end of uh, final that final assignment. Um, I know I haven't yet put together the video for you uh, to do the, uh, the commercial, the TV commercial spot, and uh, the... Um, what's the other one that's, that I told you I would do is the uh, Gorilla Marketing, all right? Um, so I will get that stuff together for you, and I apologize for being late, but I, I will have it ready for you, and it's going to be something that you will be able to do. Don't stress out. Um, it, it's going to be doable. So, and so your finals, once again, remember, I want to see where you're at this week. Please send me your, your work. Let me know where you are in your process. Clients, once again, last week I was hoping to get those things done. Um, I haven't seen any of your client work. Those of you who, are ha who have uh, projects outstanding, you know who you are. We need to get that stuff done. Uh, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get in touch with you, you guys individually to find out where you are on the client project specifically. Uh, and then find out what needs to happen to wrap it up. Um, are you overwhelmed with other work? Are you dragging your feet? Do you find yourself procrastinating? Is that what's going on? Or is it something that like, you're just overwhelmed and you, you just can't get to it? I want to find out what the problem is. We need to get that stuff finished, okay? Especially toward the end of the year here. Um, number four, one-on-one -on -one help. So... Remember, my office hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Please, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you need guidance on a project, let's set up a one-on-one -on -one video chat um, or just send me an email and I'll respond. Either way, whatever you're more comfortable, most comfortable with, we will do. Um, I thought I would run over the district's policies on grades this year just to clarify I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail. They are going to um, have more information for you at their website. All right, if you go to pylusd.org, you'll be able to, to find the uh, details about the, the uh, grading and all of that. But essentially what's going to happen is you're going to get an opportunity to, to take the grade that I give you, or you can actually go uh, take a credit. So if you have gotten anything less than a D, of course that would be an F. By the end of the year, if you're getting an F in the class, you will get an incomplete. If you're getting an A through a D, your, it will be your choice to take a letter grade or the word credit. Okay, You just get credit for taking the class. Now the reason they did that, uh, they initially were just going to give you credit and incomplete. But what they found was not receiving the, the letter grade affects your abilities to get scholarships in some instances. So that's something to think about, okay? And you'll have that choice to make at the end of the year. All right. Now, lastly, we're going to take a peek at what is coming next week. Um, next week, we are going to add a, an assignment to your, uh, your responsibilities. You still have your finals to work on. But I do want you to start digging into uh, your resume and cover letter, okay? And I will give you a template if you don't know how or if you haven't set one up yet. Uh, I'll give you a template to follow for both, for your, your resume and the cover letter. Cover letter is very important. You need to have it. You don't just turn in when you go to apply for a job. You don't just give them a resume and an application, typically. Uh, you need something to introduce yourself. And to talk about who you are, your who, who you are, what your skills are, what you're going to bring to the company, and things like that. That's a cover letter. Uh, you're going to also have a chance to update your portfolio. Uh, oh, by the way, if you've already done the cover letter and, and resume, I want to see what you've got, and if it's good enough, I'll take it. Otherwise, I want to help you to kind of hone it and make it really the best that it can be. 
Uh, updating your portfolio is very important. I want to see that you've got a portfolio filled with things that are that with work that is just an example of your best skills. I don't want to see you piling just everything that you've ever done into your portfolio. That's not the purpose of a portfolio. Your portfolio is there to show your to put your best foot forward. It's uh, if you want a place where you can store that other stuff, make another website and put it there, and, and that perfectly fine. But keep your portfolio for your best work only. Okay. Um, we're going to do some career research. You're going to get into a little bit of research on uh, Glassdoor.com and uh, a couple of other websites, and uh, you're going to look at occupations, what they pay, um, you know, the future of those occupations, etc. Uh, and then finally, we're going to look at LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is an interesting thing here. So, you know, since the Internet has come to be, we're really, we've all been very cautious about the, in, the information that we put out there about ourselves. LinkedIn is very important, though. <clears throat> we do want to be cautious, we, especially for, for you students. We don't want you guys putting too much information that would attract uh, predators, online predators or, or uh, identity theft, uh, you know, to, to happen to you or any of that to happen. But LinkedIn is a different kind of a social network. For me, in the, past, in the time that I've been a member of LinkedIn, I don't actually use it to communicate with people and, and as much as um, like on Facebook or Twitter um, where you can go back and forth. I don't really have that kind of communication going on. It just doesn't happen. Um, I use it. Here's the front page of, of LinkedIn. If you go into your portfolio, my portfolio, you'll see you can put in about a little bit about you, featured works that you're proud of. You can put uh, you put your experience. You put your education. Then you can put licenses and certificates like your uh, Adobe certified um, licenses or the certifications that you can get at the end of the year. You can put that here. Uh, skills and endorsements and recommendations. This is a place where you can get uh, people that you've worked with or clients that you've had to come in and put information like um, you know notes about you, what it's like to work with you, and it's it's a great way to show employers or or even schools that you're that you are interested in going to what sort of a person you are and how you work with other people. Okay, so um, but th this is a really great place to store your resume. LinkedIn is something I would like you to think about, and we're going to talk more about that next week. All right. That's basically it. Uh, you know, I just wanted to cover a couple of things with you right now. If you feel like st uh, spending some time on the phone with me or on a uh, video chat, please email me. We'll, we'll set it up, and I will uh, be at your beck and call, and I'll make some time for you. All right. Have a great week. And I'm going to get back to work over here. So, uh, guys, I'll see you later.